doing another first on this channel tonight, and that is to shoot, purposely shoot, a supernova. I haven't shot a supernova that I know of. Um, I know there's plenty in the sky and they're really hard to distinguish between stars. Um, but tonight I'm purposely gonna be pointing my telescope towards M61 uh, in the hopes of catching a supernova. I'm gonna get this rig set up and tell you guys all about my plans, so stay tuned. Alright everybody, I am all set up and ready to go. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm pretty excited to do what I'm going to be doing tonight. Uh, I haven't shot M61 before. I know it's a very faint object and something I'm not going to really be able to pick up with my RASA telescope. So that's why I've chosen my 6SC telescope instead. Uh, this will allow me to get up close and personal with that object. Um, I do plan on using the uh, 6.3 focal reducer on this. So I am going to get a bit wider of a field. And I know that I can even get more close up if I don't use the focal reducer. But I want to be shooting at F6 tonight instead of F10. And that's because M61 is a very faint object far, far away. So uh, I'm gonna have to peer into space to try to get this, but uh, hopefully the Celestron 6SC is up for the task. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what I'm able to capture. The camera that I'm using is my ASI 294 MC Pro. Um, I have uh, 105 millimeters of back focus that I'm using as well. Uh, that includes the Starzona filter tray, which will allow me to use my UV IR cut filter from Beta Planetarium. From what I've been hearing in the news, this uh, supernova is still getting brighter right now. So it'd be nice to get some good light on it and uh, maybe then compare it to some shots that I take later on in the year. Anyways, as with always, I need to wait for these stars to come up and the sun to go down before I start my session. Uh, but once that happens, I'll gladly take you along for the ride. So I'm about to point my telescope towards M61. Uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong. M61. So I've taken a few frames already and uh, I think I'm getting some good data on this galaxy. If I stretch here, you'll be able to see the galaxy arms. Uh, it's very faint and also very small. Uh, don't worry about these dust motes over on the side. Um, hopefully my flat frames will get rid of that. Um, but I'm pretty excited. One of these stars, I'm pretty sure it's this one right here, is the supernova. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to collect a bit more data on this, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I just found this out now while taking a look at Telescopius, but this is the perfect time to actually shoot this object. It is high in the sky on May 16th, and today is is May 13th, so uh, yeah, that's right on point for when we should be shooting this. Uh, so that's a perfect time for our supernova to go off as well. And uh, I'm glad I'm able to shoot it from my backyard. If it was any lower, I might not have been able to see it from the trees in my backyard. Uh, so I'm very thankful. When I was planning for this night, I was trying to find a reference image of this galaxy taken with a similar gear that I have, and I was only able to find one image. It was on an Italian forum, and I'll show you that now. Um, this is the only reference that I have uh, to what my gear can capture on this galaxy, um, but it is nice. Uh, they did a good job here. So inside these spiral arms is where I'm going to be able to see that supernova, and if I uh, stretch my image here. I'm pretty sure that this star right here is the supernova that's happening in this galaxy. So uh, yeah, I'm going to collect more data. I'll probably shoot until about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, hopefully this is still in my sky until then. Uh, that should be about 3 hours of data capture and uh, that should be enough to pull out some really good detail on this galaxy and this supernova. I'm trying a few different camera settings tonight. Uh, I decided to use a gain of 200 
and that's just because I really want to try to get uh, some detail on this bright object. Usually I use a gain of 120, which is unity gain, um, but yeah, I wanted to bump that up. I've seen in some Cloudy Night forums that some people do this as well, so I don't see any issues with doing that. And uh, the exposure time that I'm using is 100 seconds. So once I stack all these, I should have enough data to get a good image. Um, that's the hope at least. And uh, from what I'm seeing so far in these subs, uh, that should be the case. Guys, it's just about 1 o'clock in the morning and uh, this object is now out of view from my backyard. Uh, there are some overhanging wires that are in the way and uh, I'm going to have to call it quits. Overall I was able to capture about 3 hours of data. Uh, we'll see how much of that is usable, but uh, overall I'm pretty excited with what I got so far. After I'm done doing my flat frames here I'm going to do some dark frames and then I'm going to pack it in. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, what you saw. I know I'm excited to see these end results and hopefully you guys are as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.